This is AutoLine Daily reporting on the global automotive industry. New car sales in China are falling so fast that last month they fell to a level that's about the same as in the U.S. market. Chinese consumers bought 1.58 million new passenger vehicles in May compared to 1.57 million in the U.S. Moreover, Merrill Lynch reports that Chinese domestic brands lost five percentage points of market share to foreign brands. And it says the growth of new energy vehicles slowed considerably. Sales of electric and plug-in hybrids were up only 2%. This will put enormous pressure on automakers who are required to meet a 10% market share goal for new energy vehicles. We were surprised when David Woodhouse abruptly resigned as head of design for Lincoln. But we predicted he would pop up again at another automaker. Well, he did that a whole lot sooner than we thought he would. Yesterday, Nissan announced that Woodhouse will be the head of Nissan Design America for both the Nissan and Infiniti brands. Tesla's latest shareholder meeting included some interesting comments from Elon Musk. The pickup truck, which Elon claims looks like it came out of a sci-fi movie, will, quote, hopefully be unveiled this summer. The all-electric semi-truck is being pushed back a year to 2020 because Tesla may not be able to get all the batteries that it needs. In fact, Musk said Tesla may even have to get into mining to get all the materials that it needs for those batteries. And the Model 3 and Y will have the option to go, quote, totally vegan. Synthetic replacements will be available to replace the leather on the seats and steering wheel. But we think it'd be cool if Tesla offered cloth seats. From the company that revealed the secrets of the Tesla Model 3, Monroe & Associates will host an electric vehicle conference on Friday, June 21st, at its headquarters in Auburn Hills, Michigan. Monroe will provide a deep dive into the motors, batteries, and electronics of the Tesla Model 3, BMW i3, Chevrolet Bolt, and Jaguar I-Pace. Purchase tickets on Eventbrite or at leandesign.com. Better hurry. Only 100 spots are available. Automakers keep making impressive progress with self-driving technology. Volvo and Uber are showing off a fully autonomous production XC90 equipped with safety features, including backup systems for the steering and braking, as well as the battery. If any of them fail, the backups automatically kick in and bring the vehicle to a stop. The cameras are also fitted with individual washers nozzles to clean the lenses on the cameras. Volvo plans to introduce AVs in the early 2020s. The Hyundai Group is expanding its partnership with Aurora, the self-driving startup, to help the group design a dedicated autonomous vehicle platform. Aurora also just signed an agreement with FCA for self-driving commercial vehicles. But Volkswagen just dumped Aurora to sign a deal with Argo, which it's reported to be investing $1.7 billion in. Remember, Ford invested a billion dollars in Argo in 2017, So the two automakers seem closer to collaborating on autonomous vehicles. And Ford is now testing self-driving cars in the Motor City. The third generation Ford Fusion hybrids have new radar and cameras with higher resolution and higher dynamic range. They have upgraded software and a new computing system. And the vehicles are now equipped with redundant braking and steering systems in case of a failure. In addition to Detroit, Ford and Argo are operating AVs in Pittsburgh, Miami, Palo Alto, and Washington, D.C. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion, and by DuPont, transforming industries and improving lives through material science. Last year, NHTSA began investigating complaints over what they call the death wobble in Jeep Wranglers. Owners are now suing the company and say the vehicles start to shake, sometimes violently, after hitting a small bump at highway speeds, and it won't stop until the vehicle is slowed to about 50 miles per hour. The lawsuit alleges the company knew about the problem and hasn't done enough to fix it. 
FCA claims the wobble can happen to any vehicle with solid front axles. Owners want FCA to pay them for the defective vehicles and to compensate them for the loss of value to the Wranglers. The structure of cars and trucks used to be made mostly from steel. Now we're seeing a mix of all kinds of materials, and that's making it a lot more challenging to repair them. That's why we invited Stacy Wesselink from ICAR, the Collision Repair Association, to join us on AutoLine After Hours this afternoon. She'll be talking about how ICAR can help you make sure your car gets repaired the right way if you ever get in an accident. Also joining us this afternoon are Joe McCabe from Auto Forecast Solutions, Steve Finley from Wards, and Eric Tricko from I Am at CS. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Please join us again tomorrow.